What's up y'all, it's Timmy with the Truck House Life YouTube channel. And in this episode, we're finally going to be drying in the do-it-yourself house I'm building, so let's get to it. All right, we are here at ASC Metal in uh, Anchorage, Alaska, picking up the metal roof. back oh boy let's get this off funny story i left my wallet here in the house and uh I drove all the way to town so i'd turn around drive an hour back now i'm gonna go back into town to go get the plumbing supplies luckily this stuff was already paid for so i was at least able to pick up the roof metal but i gotta go back to get all the plumbing supplies and the uh, t111 so i can stain it which is the siding for this house so let's get this unloaded and uh head back into town Okay, roofing metal is unloaded. Once again, doesn't look heavy, but totally is. Let's head back to town. All right, we're loaded. Well, hello everybody. Today, we are going to stain more plywood. So as you guys can see, this is all the siding, T111 siding for the entire house. I have about 100 sheets of T111 plywood I'm having to stain. I can stand up about 16 sheets at a time, and I'm using this paint sprayer to spray them. A really, really high quality oil finish. That should keep a waterproof for quite some time. The reason I'm doing it in the garage is because it will not stop raining out here. Let's get to it. And I'm gonna keep this GoPro out of this so it doesn't mess the lens up, but that's what's going on. Let's keep at it. All right, we're here at uh, Home Depot and just bought all our exterior doors, so let's get them loaded. We're loaded. I don't recommend trying to load doors up by yourself, but you gotta do what you can do sometimes. Well, a couple of hours in Home Depot, got all the plumbing stuff. So this is most of everything I need to plumb the entire house with. So I'm gonna get it loaded. I'm gonna make one more stop. I'll get another 100 feet of pipe pickup, and we should be good. All right, that'll do. Let's head back. So we're on to our next project. You guys can see I've got this foam board that I'm putting in against the slab. It's gonna insulate the slab because there's in-floor heating or else the heat escapes. So I'm gonna get foam all the way around the house 
then I have this really cool metal copper flashing that's going to cover it. Yeah, just make it look good and keep it in good shape over the years. And then we're gonna backfill against that with some nice gravel. So we're doing that right now. So I'm gonna use this concrete hammer drill here, get holes drilled in the concrete and sink screws in to hold that foam in place. So that's what we're doing right now. And what I've got here is my leftover washers. These are from the flat roof to hold the ins foam insulation down. So I'm sure to work for this foam. So we're gonna use those for this. little update. We have foam installed with fasteners all the way around the entire house. Pretty cool. So that's what insulates the foundation. Next thing I have to do after this is lay about four feet of foam, two inch tall foam all the way out to here, four feet away from the house. And I'm gonna cover that with gravel that insulates the radiant floor heating from all the cold air in the outside. So now the next step is to cover all of this with some base flashing. So we're gonna do some really pretty metal over it. Um, it's a copper penny color. It's gonna look really good. And it's gonna mount to the wall. It's gonna run down the wall, out and over the foam, and down into the ground. And then gravel backfills against that sloped away from the house. So it drains water. And all that metal is right here. I had to special order it. It's actually super heavy, super thick copper penny steel. So we're gonna unload that and uh, attach it to the house right now. And do one sheet at a time. And the reason we're doing this flashing first is because we can't put on the siding of the house, the plywood, until that's on because the plywood goes over it. So that's the order of operations here. So what's gonna happen is the siding is gonna overlap the metal and water will run down the siding and over this and around the foundation. So that'll help out a bunch. So we get to do that all the way around the house and then finish up the corners, cut these special corner pieces when we're done. All right, y'all, so here comes kind of the weird part. I've gotta get this metal bent perfectly around the corner. So what I've done is measured how thick the foam is and I've come out off the edge of the house that thick, made a line and then I come out that far again, make another line. So you can see my first line, that's the thickness of the foam, which is almost two inches thick. Made that mark right there with a the square. I come out another two inches, same distance, and make another mark right there. So we have two vertical lines. Basically, we're gonna cut both of these lines. Extremely thick, I think it's 24 gauge. Okay, so we cut that one, then we're gonna cut this one. The next thing, what we're gonna do, so this is our corner of the house is gonna come out here. So we're gonna cut from this outside vertical cut to our corner of the house right there. And we're cutting from this outside vertical line all the way to the corner of our wall where the walls meet right there. We're gonna cut this piece totally out. Now we're gonna cut this vertical line right there that's right in the edge in the corner of the house. And we're gonna cut this tab totally off here. Gotcha. I don't have my big duckbill flat pliers. I can't find them anywhere. I'm making this work for now. All right, now we're just gonna bend this over. And there is our corner. And then the siding is gonna cover up all this so you won't see all that. And there is your corner. Like I was saying, plywood's gonna cover all this stuff up and I'm gonna have to uh, seal that up a little bit. Well guys, I am beat down but as you can see, the flashing all the way around the house. And this is the last side I gotta do tomorrow. It's just get too dark.
It was pretty cheap. It's 21 volt though. Mine's only 20. Oh really? So it must be <laughs> 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 I had it pretty much almost resting on the... Hopefully that'll work. All right, huge moment. The first piece of siding is going on. Get all the windows in and the lower part, and we're gonna get some siding going. Okay, we just cruised around up under the overhang right there, connected to the other house, and we're gonna get some tie back up in that spot right there and cruise right around this wall with the rest of the siding. Keep in mind what you're seeing here, this is T111 siding. It's got those strips in there, so there's gonna be battens that go on top of those strips, just like this house, like that. So, and they're darker colored, so I did that uh, kind of on accident, but hopefully it looks good. We'll see. Well guys, calling it a day. We're gonna finish this front side tomorrow. It's down all the way through here. All around the corner too. Pretty cool. Good morning, y'all. Getting started on the day. Good morning, everybody. It is a very foggy day, but it is not raining. It's supposed to be full on sun today, but it's probably gonna be foggy all day in Girdwood, I imagine. But we got a lot of stuff to do, so let's get outside and get started. So as you guys can tell, we have stacked a whole bunch of scaffolding up, about 24 feet long and about, I don't know, probably 25 feet high and we'll be able to uh, reach basically the top almost the top with uh, one more level of scaffolding after this We're obviously it's a pretty big deal to get one piece of plywood all the way up there to one person to nail into the wall and then uh, if you guys can see the whole base has been done here with siding T111 siding that I already stained um, it looks like a trailer right now but that's because the battens aren't on it yet our next step, once we get all the siding on, all the way around the lower level here, is to put these battens on. And see if I can show you here. I haven't even seen how this looks yet. I accidentally stained these all dark like this, much darker than the plywood, but that's how it's gonna look. Kind of like that all the way around. Anyway, we have to put one of these battens on every single groove you see in here. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way around the entire house and all the way up. So we are a long way from done, but we're gonna get there. That's all I know. It's starting to get pretty cold. Um, we have windows all the way in around the first level. So we'll go, we'll go walk upstairs and show you what we did the other day. We got windows in right here in the stairwell. And coming into the living room, we got these windows in. There's no air conditioner in this house because it's Alaska, so you don't really need it. You just open up the windows in the summer. So any window you can reach with your hands in this house will be able to slide open. The only ones that don't slide open are the ones in the stairway back there 
and up here these high ones you can't really reach those since they're in the loft all the other windows will slide open in the entire pad so that's the plan and you guys have seen out here in the wing i installed that last week so you can scrape your feet off with snow and ice before you walk into the arctic entry and uh it's come together pretty nicely this wing wound up being a really cool spot in the house it's this uh just kind of a really cool private feeling it's facing the river over there we're the closest property to the river so that makes it nice so i think i get a couple rocking chairs out here and whenever it's just uh raining because i live in a temperate rainforest you can just sit under this huge wing right here and have your coffee and just check out the river in my spare time i've been putting together a plumbing plan for the entire house so i already went out and bought all the plumbing parts and i'm going to be plumbing the whole house pretty shortly here anyway sam should be over soon and we're going to get the siding going and uh see if we can get another level or two on this front wall today where all the scaffolding is there is going to be this really cool metal siding on the house it's going to be on the tower and on the arctic entry out here so we're gonna have to rent this articulating lift boom to reach those areas because they're like 40 something feet tall, pretty tall. Anyway, let's get started. We made it a pretty good ways up. We finished the second level all the way across, halfway across the third. We got all the windows installed on the entire wall all the way up, except for that one big window. We need three people to do that. There's just no way it's too heavy. And right now I'm getting ready to paint the doors. We got them all primed yesterday with some primer. Well guys, we, hold on a second. Well guys, we got it. It's really cool. Red color. I think it's gonna be fun. We're gonna get the other side of the doors in a minute. Oh cool. There's bugs landing on it. That's not good. Should probably turn on the fan and blow the bugs away. We're using a Graco uh, Magnum paint sprayer. Pretty sweet. Doing the trim today. Pretty stoked. Let's do it. On one wall.
We are done for the day. A little bit tired. There's the look. Pretty rowdy looking. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? You guys should say something in the comments. What do you think of the uh, different color battens? Once again, I didn't plan that. What I was doing is staining the window trim. So I bought some brown stain, four gallons of it, stain all the window trim, this brown color, which, you know, looks good. Good enough, I feel like. But then I accidentally stained like a whole bunch of the battens, the dark color, so it's like, ah, too late. Because once you stain something darker, you can't stain it back lighter. It doesn't work that way. So uh, I just stained them all dark. Took a chance. I think it's gonna look kind of fun, a little bit crazy, but you know what? At least it's something different. Actually, if you get on Google, you will not find, or try to search for it, but you won't find any other examples in the Google images of a house that has a certain color siding and different color battens. You don't see that. It's always like the battens match the plywood behind it. Kind of like that house. And the one across the street over there, everything's red. I'm gonna cook a little bit of dinner, get some halibut I caught up here and uh, do a little bit of video editing up there on the rooftop deck. And speaking of the deck, the rooftop deck materials that uh, make the actual deck itself are shipping out of Denver, Colorado this week. So that's awesome. So we'll get the spiral staircase and all that stuff done within the next few weeks here. Isn't that right, guys? Another day, let's begin. <sighs> Right, we're setting some main windows in the living room today. This is the master bedroom looking down to the deck below and living room, but uh, we're gonna get these windows in here. All right, let's see the fruits of our labor here. It's gonna look good. Beautiful. We got doors. Super fun color. Like fire hose red. It's a pretty cool inlay. It'll be a nice way to enter the house. It's gonna look good. We also got these downstairs windows in today. So we are surrounded by big old windows. Still gonna get the two in up top. Those are our next ones. But it's so cool, you can just be sitting here like right in the kitchen and just look out into the woods to the river under that big wing out there. And uh, it's a cool spot. Then you guys saw this, we got battens on this side. Got it going pretty good. Long way to go, but we're getting there. I haven't really talked about this too much, but it's just Sam and I building the house here. And once the outside is finished, I'm completely on my own. Um, Sam's not helping with anything in the inside. I don't have anyone helping with anything in the inside. My pops might come up and help out a little bit if his uh, health situation gets a little bit better. His back's been pretty bad, so he's not able to get on a plane right now. But uh, if he gets better, he'll come up and help you, like just kind of help guide me through some of the electric stuff. But well, believe it or not, it's about almost eight o'clock in the morning 
and starting to get dark out this time of year. The snow is really close to coming. It's already halfway down the mountains and uh, run out of time, so let's do it. We're gonna be taking you guys out in the truck camper this weekend on a little adventure, but guess what showed up yesterday? Bam! Get delivered from the Kenai. This is a Genie boom lift, so it's an articulating lift. It goes out to 45 feet tall, four wheel drive. It's gonna help us get all this done. The scaffolding is working for a while, but we can't really go much taller than that, and the tower is significantly taller than the rest of the house. So we're gonna warm this bad boy up and uh, get her going here. This thing is pretty rad. Diesel powered. What we're gonna do today, the reason we haven't been able to continue with the battens is because we need to put the windows in way up there. There's one right there and one right there. So we're gonna get those windows in today. And uh, Aaron's here to help us out today. He's in town a little bit and uh, he's gonna help us set him in place. Big shout out to Highmark Reynolds for dropping this thing off outside of their zone. Really appreciate it, boys. If you guys need to rent any kind of equipment like this and you're up in Alaska, hit those guys up, Highmark Rentals. It's a really easy uh, renting experience with those guys and they were cheaper than everyone else, so it's pretty cool. Get all the windows in. Well, not all of them, but a whole bunch of them. Get all those in up high. A couple of tower windows. Now we're about to nail off all the uh, plywood corners and the plywood to all the studs. And then we're gonna button all this tie back up so it stops flapping. Got most of the windows in. Yeah, Sam's up there doing some nailing. This thing is awesome. Thanks again, Hammer Reynolds. Freaking legit piece of equipment. As you can see, there's like no other way to get to the top of that tower. I guess we had to rent that thing. And uh, all the windows in this space are just about in. We have one more way up top, which we're about to do. Then we're going to button up this Tyvek and uh, start doing the siding. Not bad at all. Getting the windows in. It is nasty outside today. I'll open to below. All nice and quiet in here now. It's the loft windows that open up, so they're open most of the time when you want them to be. And then close when you want privacy or don't want to hear all your loud bandmates snoring downstairs. Master bedroom in here. Beautiful view out basically all sides of the bedroom. River's right down there. And this is your view. Be able to see how all these windows all the time or crank these open and see like down below like that pretty cool but right now our focus is getting spiral staircase tower 
windows in, so it's pretty tall up here. Sam's nailing off the plywood out there right now, but we're gonna get those last two windows up top. This tall one, and there's one way up there on top, and then the door. What's up? That's what we're doing. Everybody. We're out here wrapping around. We're gonna finish in the next couple days. Actually horrible in this neighborhood. They're supposed to come in and fix it, but uh, we're at sea level, so this doesn't drain out. It's kind of stays here all the time. hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to smash the like button down there subscribe to the channel if you want to see this type of content or my adventure content I try to mix it up so see you on the next one peace y'all